in the library. First, install Unreal Engine 5.02, the latest build, then. This is where the most important thing to check is. Quixel Bridge, click, install in the engine, and MetaHuman plugin, install in the engine. Hmm, then, what do you need to do? Start the project. Create any of the scenes. I already have it, I'll open it. And then go to 3D.sk. 3D.sk. Here to go in. Raw head scans. And choose any model. Come on, let it be. Some lady. For example, this one or this one. Download her. Go to the folder. We make an extract. We get. These are the files. You need to make some corrections. Open 3ds Max. File. Import. That's the format it's going to be in. We need to turn it around. And check one more nuance. Anyway, that's how it is now. So that it looks straight into the front view camera. Because it's very important. Это очень важно. Вот. И Now be sure to check the location of the pivot on the model. As you can see, everything is okay with it. Now make sure to do reset form. And then, we just export this model as FBX. In the window that appears, check these options. Press OK. In Unreal, during import, you have to select Build Nanite, etc. so that Unreal can open this model without any issues. And then, it's just click on Add. Choose MetaHuman. Next, MetaHuman Identity. As a result, you will have an object, which we rename. I'll call it my MetaHuman 2. I also noticed that the model is also rotated incorrectly. Therefore, in 3ds Max, I'm correcting this issue. Yes. In the top view, it should be looking down. We turn it this way. Again, do Resex form. Of course, you can do it in Unreal Engine, but I feel more comfortable in 3ds Max. I've certainly seen it done in Unreal Engine. But since, I haven't tested it yet, that's why I show it in 3ds Max, as I feel comfortable at the moment. For the model to be updated, do Refresh. Right-click and do Re-Import. In the end, you get the right model. So, everything seems right. Let me check how it looks in MetaHuman Identity. That is, in the editor itself, you have to select a new model. Select it through Component from Mesh. Here she appeared in the right perspective. Let's point the camera at her. Uh -huh. Click on this plus. Just before that, you have to select Neutral Pose. The plus will become active. Press it. Now we need to create trackers. Right click on frame 0 and select Auto Tracking on. Waiting until. Operation Loading Trackers will proceed. After that we press. Lock Camera. 
to lock the camera for easy editing. Then we zoom in and edit the trackers. Try to do it carefully, so that everything matches the original object. And then we press MetaHuman Identity Solve. Then press B to check the result. And select Body. In this window, you can choose any standard body. After that, press Mesh to MetaHuman. Waiting for the conversion. After that, a message appears saying that your MetaHuman is in the Quixel bridge. Press OK. Then go to the Window menu. There's the Quixel bridge. You will see a window like this, doing sign in. Then click on this icon. Go to my MetaHumans. And this is where the resulting character will come from. To open it in the editor, click Start MHC. Then click on Launch Latest MetaHuman Creator. Creator. Waiting again. As a result, we see the following model. Select it and click Edit Selected. Selected. Custom Mesh. And here we adjust. I am. That is, you can turn off the symmetry so that there is no symmetry. It is what it is. In principle, you can leave nothing untouched. It is possible too. Leave it as it is. Then you have to assign skin. Press Assign. Choosing. And voila, we have a finished model. Here you can adjust the texture. Exturo. Look at 3D scan. And now we launch animation. As you can see, she looks like her. You can still tweak the parameters. You can leave it as it is. Go to face room and watch the animation. In body room. Choose some shorts and shoes. Que shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Next, choose some kind of hairstyle. Uh. 
Adjust hair color. Blondinka. Tipa. И а что еще сделать? Let there be hair like that. Пусть будут. Не знаю, что там еще можно. Ее можно сохранить, как я. Meta human is saved automatically with all settings. По-моему, ничего больше не нужно делать. As you can see, the character upgrade happened at the same time. It is preserved in the editor itself and in Quixel Bridge UE5. You can now close the browser.